Today we begin our unit on trigonometry. So throughout the school year we've talked about in chapter 2 functions in general, and then we talked about specific functions, polynomial and rational, and then chapter 5 we delved into uh, exponential and logarithmic functions, and now we're going to be talking about the measurement of angles as we study trigonometry in the next four chapters. Now back in geometry we learned about the concepts of equality, sums, and differences of angles, but again the concept of trigonometry deals with the measurement of angles. So one thing I wanted to point out was what is a radian? What, is, what does the radian measure of an angle mean? We know that the degree of an angle the degree measurement of an angle is, uh, as we know, that the circle is divided evenly into 360 equal degrees, so that a right angle is 90 degrees. Well, what about a radian? So we it, we remember that halfway around the circle is pi radians, and all the way around is two pi radians. But but that doesn't necessarily mean we know where one, two, three, four, five, and six radians are, unless we understand that a radian is just a radius. That's it. So the measurement of the radius, if you wrap it, start wrapping it around the circle, in other words, take the radius, let's say we take a piece of string and, and lay it down right down on the radius. Then we pick up that piece of string and we start it right here at zero radians and we start wrapping it around the circle or laying it down on the circumference of the circle. Well that radius is going to stop right about there and that one radius then would, would mean that that angle measure is one radian. So uh, then we lay it down again from that spot as the starting point to the next spot. That would be two radians or two radiuses. And then three, three radians would be here. And we know that 3.14 being pi is right here in the halfway point. Four radians, five radians, and six radians. And so you should understand when I say what is a radian, you say it's a radius. That's it. And that's the other way we use to measure angles. When we, when we do measure angles, we have to start with a side, and we call that side the initial side. So let's look over here. So we start with the initial side, and we always move counterclockwise, and that's a positive angle. So if we go counterclockwise, uh, we're measuring a positive angle. Now, if we do go clockwise, if we wrap it around, start here at the initial side, and then go this direction, clockwise, and where our terminal side is where we end, that's when we have to measure a negative angle. So we go clockwise for negative, counterclockwise for positive. So I think we know that. So let's go ahead and continue. Uh, again, we always have to start at uh, the initial side and we measure the angle in terms of radians and or degrees. But theta, we say here, is in standard position. Theta is positive. Standard position is when the initial side is is right there starting at the origin and moving to the right along the x-axis and the terminal side. So that's an angle in standard position. This is also an angle in standard position again when the initial side is the side where we start here at the origin and move to the right. All right. And then uh, I think we know this that theta lies in quadrant 2 so if the terminal side of the angle is in quadrant 2 then theta lies in quadrant 2. If the terminal side of the angle is in quadrant 4, we say theta lies in quadrant 4. Okay, and moving along, the terminal side and the initial side are the same. If we wrap one, one revolution, one revolution counterclockwise, 360 degrees, now we could call that one revolution counterclockwise, or clockwise. We can go in this direction, and that would be negative 360 degrees, or we can call it 2 pi, or we can call it, if we wrap two times around, two times around, we can call it 4 pi. But that would be 1, 2 times around, that would be an angle of 4 pi radians. And then halfway around, we know that that's 180 degrees. Halfway around, a fourth of the way around, that's 90 degrees, and so forth. So how do we draw an angle? Well, we start with an initial side, 45 degrees. We go up 45 degrees, and that would be a 45 degree angle. 90 degrees. We go in this direction, 90 degrees, and so we have the angle of negative 90 degrees. 225, well we start here, and we go 90, 180, 180 and 45 more would be 225 degrees. And then 405, let's try that one. 
start with our initial side. We go 405, so that's 360 right there. And 45 more brings us to 405. So we just write 405 degrees. I'll start a new video for page 2.